I'm talking to David Barron. He's general manager of the Angkor Golf Resort. On the second green, it's a beautiful resort, but there's more to the, the, the club than, uh, than just golf. Tell us about it, David. Absolutely, yeah. As lovely as this second green is with the beautiful backdrop of the palm trees, um, we focus very strongly here on our overall surroundings, the environment that's, uh, that surrounds us, the habitats. Um, it's home to, to a lot of wonderful wildlife and flora and fauna. So we, we're very conscious of our efforts to uh, be envir environmentally sustainable in our practices. And behind us, what, what is this behind us? So this area here, so on the golf course, we have several areas where we've completely naturalized the area for habitats to flourish in. Um, so this area here, we've worked with um, the Anchor Center for Conservation and Biodiversity. Um, we've had many um, release programs, specifically last year, we released, I think, 48 endangered, tur endangered yep. turtles yep. into the uh, naturalized area here. We obviously still need to, to maintain it to an extent, but there'll be no golf play, no guests in this zone. Um, you might see here also just around the corner, there's a sign there. This has also been recognized by the Audubon Society mm. for our efforts, efforts for sustainability. Mm. So this is a big area. How big is this area? That's so the golf course country? covers around 85 hectares, yep. but the, the property would be nearer 140 And hectares. the conservation area is how big is that? Around 40 hectares. 40, it's a yeah. big part of the golf course. It is, yeah. And it's uh, the mornings, the afternoons, sunrise, sunset. We probably have 55 species of of birds coming and going, it's it's wonderful. So we also work with the Sam Vesna um, Bird Sanctuary yes. uh, to do some audits uh, as much as we can. And uh, yeah, I think the last count was 58, 58, 58 species. species. Yeah. Right. So this is something that if, so if you come as a golfer, you can enjoy the yeah the scenic the views, scenic. the wildlife, the sounds, yeah. the smells. The smells. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you even have a bonus. You have a wedding in the background. Ah, lovely. Bit of Khmer culture. Yeah, lovely. Can you can we can you show me more? Absolutely. So here's the recognition from the the Audubon International uh, for some of our efforts. So in, in addition to the naturalized areas, we also have other programs such as our composting program. So yep. any waste, any organic waste that we create around the golf course, whether it's chopping trees or or shrubs, even kitchen waste or food yep, yep. waste, um, we put it into our compost program. It's sometimes a uh, it takes some time, but we can use yeah. this um, organic material to fertilize the golf course, um, trying to keep any chemicals to a, to minimum. To a minimum. Yep. Right. Um, we also have our wastewater filtration program. So any wastewater from the outbuildings, the clubhouse, the on-course tea houses, uh, restrooms, um, all that water will be naturally filtered through our filtration program before it works into the irrigation lakes. Mm -hmm. You told me also about your biofuel program. Tell me, tell me more. Yeah, so the greens mower there, for example. So all of our equipment and machinery on the golf course for taking care of, of the property here. We've converted the, the engines, engines to biofuel as opposed to diesel. Yeah. Um, this can be uh, reusable uh, fuels from, from the economy, from hotels, from local businesses. Um, a wonderful organization turned this into a biofuel. So all of our machines now run off of a clean bio biofuel. Mm -hmm. Can I take you back to the conservation area? Sure. Are there any endangered species here, to your knowledge? De very much so the turtles. Turtles, yeah, yes. Yeah, so um, working with the uh, ACCB, um, they probably every two to three years, they will bring us a large quantity of turtles that are endangered species. Right. And uh, not only just this native area, we have other areas around the golf course, and uh, we're probably home to, I would imagine, 400 plus turtles, hopefully more. We don't always see them day to day, um, but a wild array of, of wildlife. David, this seems like an entire ecosystem in its own right. Can you tell us about some of the birds and species and things, turtles you said? Absolutely, yeah, it is a, a complete ecosystem. Um, as I mentioned earlier, over 50 species of birds, often migratory birds that mm. we see coming and going uh, each year. In this, in this um, native naturalized wetland area here is where we did a program recently with the uh, Anchor Center for Conservation and Biodiversity, where we release some endangered box turtles yes. into, into the lake here. And you've got frogs, snakes, what else? Snakes, oh, absolutely. Yes, be snakes, careful. Snakes, be, be careful. careful. Snakes. No, okay, we do we're... see uh, uh, some grass snakes, uh, various snakes on a, perhaps almost on a, on a daily basis, depending on the seasons and timing. Um, 
squirrels, you name it. Um, we, we, uh, yeah, we have the full, full array here. Yeah. So it must be quite exciting to these animals wander around the, the, co the course, do they? Absolutely, they do, yeah. yeah. You'll see them crossing the cart paths, the fairways, all of the golf lakes on, so we have 18 holes on the golf course here, um, all of the lakes on each hole. So these lakes are irrigation lakes yeah. um, to capture the rainwater mm -hmm. and irrigate the, yep, yep. the golf course, uh, keep the grass green. But yeah, we, we see wildlife and birds and snakes hopping from lake to lake mm -hmm. and perhaps across the, the cart paths here, across the fairways. So it's just another, I think it adds to the experience. Um, the whole um, environment here is wonderful. I think we're um, not, only, not only just as the, the customers and the guests, but as employees and staff, it's, it's an honor um, to just, yeah, to, to call this our home and, and our office. And you're also contrib contributing to the, the general well-being of the CMD ecology. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's, um, it's paramount that we, uh, um, we keep these habitats natural. Um, and it's um, it's something that we're, we're heavily focused on from day one, even during construction um, to this day. So uh, yeah, we're very proud of our environment and habitat and, and what we provide for the for the wildlife. David, thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you.